Alright, what's up guys? This is D-Boy. I'm gonna show you guys a uh, a good way to get some nice cutouts in Photoshop. Um, I'm using Photoshop CS2. This will work in CS4, CS3. It'll work in uh, any version of Photoshop where Virtus Fluid Mask will run in. That's the, uh, the plugin that I'm gonna use. It's not a free plugin. Uh, you can get it from their website, just Google them. I'm sure you'll be able to find it pretty easy. It's a pretty popular program. Um, it makes getting cutouts a lot easier, especially when it comes down to hair. Hair and uh, nice details, you know, stuff like that, shadows. Um, I have an image in my clipboard of a stock photo I got from DeviantArt. Uh, we're going to put that in there. Eventually, there we go. All right, so we got our stock image right here. Now we want to cut all this out. Now, how would you usually do that? Well, you would either use like I used to do, you know, go through up against all the lines and everything, and uh, that could take a while. You know, you're you're going through all this. That that could take a long time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop it right into Virtus Fluid Mass Three, and I'll show you how to get some nice effects out of this program. I'm going to pick up my Wacom tablet here so that it'll be a little bit easier for me. By the way, you don't need one of these. It's uh, it's uh, uh, anyway. Oop, did that a little bit too soon. You want to wait until it's done loading down here, by the way. That's my mistake. <clears throat> Alright. So, all that red you're seeing is my screw up. God, how do I zoom in? <sighs> That's my zoom in. Alright. There we go. So this is what it will look like with well it's not gonna look exactly like this, but whatever image you're using, that's that's usually what it will look like. Now edge finding. Your threshold. Find the edges of minimum width. So we're gonna put this down a little bit more. Because, you know, we got strands of hair in there that we need apply. Now it's going to go through the whole thing again and pick out, you know, all the tinier, smaller hairs in there. Alright. And after that gets done, we're going to pick up our uh, tool over here and then we're going to start removing this outer image that we don't need. And this could take a while. It depends on what size the image is. Um, bigger is always better, so you can fit more details. But um, in this case, not really, because uh, fluid mass takes a lot longer to find all those all those uh, areas. Oops, just takes a while. All right. And the main tool here is this: the blend exact. Now what this is going to do is, I'm going to select a different size here, it yeah, looks about right. Alright, you're going to go through all these areas that you have hair, or just going to go along and, you know, blend them in real quick, and uh, this usually doesn't take that long, and um, it really makes it a lot better. You know, it brings out all those details a lot better when you're done. So we're just gonna go through and uh, go around all the edges of the hair that we want to keep. And what it basically does is more like a fade, a uh, nice little fade there. But um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot more purposes for this tool besides just hair. All right, we're gonna go through here. All these pieces of hair some of them we're obviously not gonna get but um you know this is just as an example so I'm not really too worried about it got all these little hairs in here alright uh, down in there all these little all this hair man she has a lot of hair um, and isn't a mohawk annoying? Alright, 
I'll just get done real quick. There we go. Alright. Now, if I'm missing anything, oh well, you get the picture. Uh, now we're going to start by removing the hour later. You're just going to tap. That's all you're going to do. Just tap. Actually, I didn't want to do that. And uh, just go through and um, that's pretty much all you're going to have to do. Let's get uh, pretty much get all the all the background out. And, um, I really don't get much easier than that. You don't want any pieces uh, left out, though. I mean, if it does come down to having some pieces left out, uh, Virtus, uh, after you drop the cutout back into Photoshop, you can um, just use the eraser tool and remove it. You know, it's no big deal. All right, just about done. Get all these little pieces out here because those are going to show up. And these over here. I'm about you get the picture. Alright. Now, I'm going to go File and Save and Apply. It's going to drop that image out. There you have it. Now, it doesn't look that great. I did rush it a lot, and uh, but you can see how it works. It um, you know, it brings those hair details out without uh, without really losing a lot of the image. And I'm gonna go through with the eraser and just show you how easy it is to clean this up. I mean, does it? You know, the the main focus here is: is it better than using the cutout tool? Definitely is. It's a lot better than cutting it out by hand, but you still gotta get your uh, still need to, you know, do your touch-ups. I mean, if why is not working? Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. That's why. But uh, well, it's just like that. Then you just go through. And uh, remove all those. Oops. And you you just remove everything that you don't need, like right here. That was obviously a screw up. I mean, the program isn't perfect, but uh, it's definitely usable. Um, I definitely use it all the time, or um, where it's needed. You know, images that obviously have a great um, detail and background, or uh, it's gonna be a lot more useful with that. But uh, you can see a few mistakes right there. But you know, it's it's easy fixes. So I just wanted to go over that uh, with you guys real quick, so you can see how how fast it can be, pretty much, to drop down a basic cutout and uh, bring it in the Photoshop, and then you can you know, pretty much do whatever you want with uh, that cutout. Man, don't get you know get a lot easier than that. I do something neat like that. I see it just makes it a lot easier. So, uh, yeah, that was my tutorial or uh, example. Virtus Fluid Mask. Uh, you can Google it, or you can find more information at my website, SilverSterling.info. Should be at the top of the video somewhere up there. Anyway, that's about it, and uh, you guys can expect another video soon enough.